So I'm doing this stream to help participate in a less direct way, because I think I missed the boat on the first world, but there's a race going on for this game, and I need to get a time submitted. So what we are going to do is see how fast I can beat off World 1, but apparently there are no disqualifications for doing poorly, so there's like nothing at stake. But that's okay. Anyway, uh, 1, 2, or 3. Your choice matters, everyone. No point. <laughs> Fooled. I didn't listen to any of you. Alright, so if my understanding is that the timer will start when I hit go on jungle hijinks, I've got a stopwatch here. Feel free to play along at home if you would like to. No killer MC, don't count me down. Do not rush this. Nervous. Okay. So I'll count myself down when I say when I'll hit start on my timer. If y'all want to keep me honest, Smite, if you're watching this, then you can keep me honest as well. Time along at home. We'll see who has the right time at the end. All right. Are y'all ready for this? Followed by some music. Alright. <clears throat> I didn't do my vocal warm-ups before the stream. <clears throat> okay. Now. All set. Jungle hijinks in three, two, one, start. Now let's see how fast I can go through this old, old game that I am very fond of. That I love like a child. I played the shit out of this game as a youngin. And I got very adept at it. And then I thought I would be a Donkey Kong master when I uh, started playing Donkey Kong Country Returns for the Wii, but it turns out that uh, that game's really fucking hard. Not all the time hard, but the difficulty ramps up on you really, really fast. There was one level I remember in Donkey Kong Country Returns that I just could not beat, and I embarrassingly had to use that super guide. Oh, man. And then, the, well, the Super Guide, you can progress through the game without having beaten that stage. It was near the end of the game, but not on the last world. It was one of those levels where you were the um, in the barrel rocket the whole time. People who play video games a lot will probably know which world I'm talking about. That world was... Nightmare. Agree, disagree, have some Donkey Kong Country discussion. In the, hmm, I'm not sure what hit me there. Some Donkey Kong Country World is right. Yes, Beatus Blast, that was the name of that world. Okay, I can't die on this stage. Not on one of the World 1 stages. That's embarrassing. Quick time check, I've, uh, I'm at zero seconds so far, doing really well. So I heard that the top person who beat off World 1 did so in four and a half minutes? I don't see how that's possible. Unless you do a shitload of practice or something. Maybe I shouldn't hold the, uh, hold the run button down. I think this is the run button. But it seems to make you pick up anything you come across. But I don't want to let that button go because I feel like I'll need it. I'm very insecure about my buttons. I need my buttons. And I'm also insecure about skipping checkpoints, because if I die, I'll lose more time than I would have gained by skipping it. Your thoughts, everyone. Do you have any thoughts that you have? Welcome at this time. Hey, I got the letters. How about that? Alright, now, this world, I need to put on my chill voice because the music in this stage has been one of those heavily remixed, remixed tunes of all time. <clears throat> Sorry, let me do the chill voice. <clears throat> 
And you'll see why as you listen to it. This is the uh, water theme. Donkey Kong Country. So this is going to be a minimalist commentary run. I'm just going to soak in the chill music of the stage. In fact, I'm probably annoying you right now because you'd rather be listening to the music than hearing some asshole talk over it. Because the music is that relaxing and any distraction would cause damage that just could not be repaired. Because your eardrums are just soaking in how lovely this uh, the soundtrack is. I mean, you could die hundreds of times, dozens of times, in this world, and you'd probably be okay with it. Because it would mean you had an opportunity to play again. Okay, hey, we're done. Looks like we're at about 4.15 so far. This is the hardest world of World 1, if I remember correctly. I do remember this. A little pro skip tip. Get most of the stage. Uh, uh, this thing. This is something they brought back in Donkey Kong Country Returns. That's faux show. Sure. Save time if I got it on the first pass instead of waiting, but I'm not that secure in in doing this. So. Well, that was pretty pro. Was. Oh, I don't know about that. Not one bit. Good thing I got the midpoint. This one, it's easy to fuck everything up. If you can believe it, yeah, I went there. Just gotta concentrate here. Ooh. Almost didn't get that last one. Ain't nothing to it. <laughs> what if I died there at the end? That'd be terrible. Alright, we're at the boss. Let me turn the phone back on. Excuse me, the stopwatch. I'll beat this boss in a couple minutes. I'm guessing time ends right when I kill the boss. Um, that's the assumption I'm working under. And boom. That's... Took me a couple seconds to reach that, but I'm gonna guess that was 557. Can I get some uh, some checks? Anyone who timed along with me? 558.79. How do I ban this asshole? Jesus Christ! Give me more credit than that. An hour or seven. That sounds about right. Any Donkey Kong Country Race admins in this chat right now? Help keep me honest, man. Why don't we uh, round to just 558? When I hit stop, it's 558.8. Mr. Bliss says 557. Pretty reasonable. Somewhere around there. So I could keep playing this or move on to something else. Any, uh, any thoughts? I'm gonna say 557 seems pretty fair. Oh, come on, how do I even exist? How do you even exist? Piece of shit. Should I try to go through, uh, Sykes, since you're in here, should I try to go through World 2 as fast as possible? For the race, or is it time to kick back and, uh, kind of let the game breathe a little bit? Alright, let me stretch. Oh. Oh. Time to relax. Sounds good. Let's brave these monkey mines. And try not to get our monkeys beat off too bad. How long is this game? I don't remember taking it too long to finish, but I do remember the difficulty ramping up pretty hard. Oh. 
Are the property are there any properties of the frog besides jumping high? Obviously can't ram shit like the rhino. Looks to be just a jumping high. Yeah, world four sounds about right. And Donkey Kong Country Returns, it was more like world. Well, no, it was probably around world four as well. Something around those lines. Maybe if someone were around to mine some data. <laughs> Why did that world have an exclamation point? Why was that an interjection and minecart uh, flambe or whatever this world was called does not? Oh god, one of these? Okay. Um, science question. How does Donkey Kong make the minecart jump? That is not, has never been controversial at all. Because come on, you got the weight of two monkeys. Weighing that thing down. It's ridiculous, man. I got a fish! For what it's worth. So think of those tokens. You get three of them, and then you get, when you get three, do you get the animal that you have the majority of tokens for, or do you have to get three of the same in order to uh, achieve that level of success? Not remember. I also can't look at the chat right now to get answers to your questions because this is the kind of game you can't really tear your eyes away from because it's so engaging. I remember there being some pretty bullshit mine love minecart levels in DKC Returns. That was a question? So that game really liked to troll you, but it was also pretty good about. No. About giving you some lives when you need them. Ah, oh, you need three of the same to get a bonus round, so it is not in your best interests to get all of them that you see. Anybody have a count for how many water levels are in this game? Because I really do love that soundtrack, that uh, that theme, if you will. Donkey Kong Country is a game of reflexes. If you are slow, you cannot play. Okay, so uh, dodge that one guy so I have a bit of a buffer now if I do, in fact, hit myself. Why are you hitting yourself, Donkey Kong? I mean, even this level is fairly difficult for being so early in the game. If you get enough practice at it, it's, it's like Battletoads, though, like Turbo tunnel -y. You don't know what's coming. Oh, there's an exclamation point when you beat off the level. Okay. Then it becomes exciting. I get it now. I understand. Let's see. Now, I'm not tiring of this game yet, but I don't have any follow-up to that. I'm gonna guess there was a reason I should have rolled the tire further, but that's okay. I don't remember squat about this game now. And that's okay. Who's excited for Tropical Freeze? Anybody? Anybody feel... <laughs> Can I roll this on the platform? Yes. Whoop. Donkey Kong is a con artist? That's wrong. He shouldn't be doing that. It's a bad thing for him to do. What is with these guys? They... Too much five-hour energy in here. I forget it. Well, this toad is ready for war? I guess. 
What if you bred this toad or frog, whichever you want to call it, with one of the tires? And believe me, you can breed things that don't belong together. I've played Final Fantasy, so... <laughs> okay, so... Wait a second, where'd my frog buddy go? Did I lose him and not pay attention? I don't know. Let's get that one up. Keep calm and Donkey Kong. Whoa, I'm gonna throw up by the time this is over. This is what playgrounds should be like. When I was a child, I would have much preferred to have a playground like that. And have a traumatic brain injury. Alright, wait, wait a second. This one doesn't have an exclamation point after it. That one does. What is the trick? I got all the letters in that one too. What does it mean? Your interpretation. Anyone, help. Oh, this level. I remember this level quite well. This is a definitely you gotta go fast to stage. I like the design of this one, though. It's a cool concept. Lots of creative concepts. I'm guessing you can't roll into the gator babies. Pretty sure you cannot do that. is the utmost concentration. Is it possible to beat this without hitting the... Hmm. Huh? Ooh. Must have to do a trick roll thing or something that I'm not thinking of. Ooh. Again, apologies. Memory of the game, very fuzzy. I can see how this world would stress you out a little bit. This level would stress you out a little bit. I mean, what if life was like this? Imagine. Alright, forget the O. I can't remember how to get it. And I can't look at the chat to find out because I'm in this stressful situation. Good so far. Got the midpoint. We're feeling good. Ooh. Not feeling good. Okay. We're feeling good again. Ooh. Feeling good. Ooh. Feeling great. How are you? Ooh. Oh boy. <laughs> go, Donkey Kong, go! Oh. I'm gonna say it's probably possible, but very unlikely to beat this without hitting those stop and go things. I've already asked that, and I'm sure some of you responded, but I just uh, can't look back in the chat right now. These are very stressful circumstances we're operating under. You know, Killer MC, if this is so atrocious, then why don't you apologize to me for that hurtful comment? Okay. We got this, guys. We got this. Don't know what happened there. That's more like it. Now we're playing with... Kin? Volt Catfish, the timer is not still going. I stopped at... After World 1. If someone else is still timing me, though, that's, uh, that's good. Oh. That was just a whim. I forgot something was actually here. Right. This does remind me of Legends of the Hidden Temple, in a way. There's a barrel down there. <laughs> great. Oh, yeah. It is great. Remember how the Mayans used rubber tires for uh, their everyday needs? 
I'm sure you all do. There we go. The... Am I spelling rear? Oh, rare. I guess that makes more sense. <laughs> Though I, you should spell out rear, and then Donkey Kong moons you after you uh, after you do that. I'm sorry, strong man. I blew you up with TNT. Please forgive me. Not even a one up for doing that shit. Unbelievable. There's no bees. Sorry. Don't step on a snake while you're carrying TNT, or, well, you've seen what happens. And I spelled seen with many S's. Great, why did I do that? Should not have done that at all. Take one for the team, Diddy. Donkey. What is his actual first name? Shame on him if it is. Can't pick it up. Can't pick it up, gotta go! Gotta go, Froggy. <laughs> that hamster's gotta be losing his shit. Poor guy. Remember, Ong. For all your ong needs. All right, we're gonna jump over this. Yeah, you guys are in a quality stream. It's gonna. Hmm, is this possible? Probably not. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not falling for that. It's a terrible trap. We did it. Already at the World 2 boss. I forget, what's Cranky do when you go to his place? Let's find out. Ah, that's right, he gives you hits. He gives you pro crank tips. You know, Donkey Kong slimmed down, Senior slimmed down in his old age. Good for him. Now let's beat off Neki's nuts. Pretty straightforward. But how does he teleport to one side or the other? Does he know yoga? He screwed up. It's over. Hey, I hit you on the head. Piece of shit. Ooh, ooh. Yay, we killed a bird! No matter how often I go to the grocery store, I never find Nintendo brand bananas. And that is just banana. Okay, let's go to Vulture Culture. And find out just what is the culture of these vultures. Vultures. Well, that doesn't make much sense. It's kind of fucked up that they kill what is presumably the mama vulture and then come here to gloat about it. That is not cool, guys. Maybe check your donkey privilege at the door or something? No, they're not just coming here to gloat, but they're coming here to kill more vultures. Like, uh, hmm? I don't remember this at all. Little red plastic cup, who is the mama vulture? Should probably actually reap the rewards from the things I stomped before. Let's just keep going until I get hit, or is there an end game to this? Aha, uh -huh, there it is. It's alive. Evil Mancer, what are you talking about? 
don't know what you're saying. <laughs> the indecisive barrel. Let's, uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> there. Relax, guys. We got this. I know how to stomp on the culture of these vultures by jumping directly into the paths of their rock projectiles. Isn't that what you would do? <laughs> oh. Good thing I went here. So what's on y'all's minds tonight on this Sunday Eve? The Eve of F July 8th. I almost said February for some reason. Planning a diet food menu. That sounds exciting. People are engaged in some monkey business. We've got headaches going on. How do I even exist? Just says pork. It's a good thing to be doing. I did the exact same thing. That's amazing. I just need to hold right. That is what they do in the vulture culture, if that is my understanding. Lots of breathing going on. According to the chat, it's exciting. Hey, Dectalon. Did not see you earlier. I almost made the same mistake three times, but fortunately. Okay, you cannot barrel into the bees, I'm pretty sure, so. This game's a little more difficult than I remember it being. Or maybe I just don't have the skills I used to have as a young Beatus baby. Do you guys find that with age your skills are degrading? You have to think about bills, your career, your resume, etc. Does all that other stuff go out the window? Am I fucked? Hey, Mr. Digiba. Lots of familiar faces showing up on the Beat Us Beat tonight. Alright, we're in Ewok Village. Okay, um, I learned something just there. I learned not to get real estate in Treetop Town, I'll tell you what. Would not want to go there. Stream of the year. Indeed. People see this, they're gonna beg me to start shout casting StarCraft 2 games. Just you wait. That would make me watch StarCraft 2 streams more if there was somebody who just didn't have any idea what the hell was going on and just commented on what they saw as a first impressions kind of thing. I've played StarCraft, so I wouldn't be uh, qualified to do even that, but... Damn it, I'd watch it. Or I could, uh, yeah, shoutcast StarCraft 2 with distant Beatus voice. Totally agreed. Oh, is that the only way to get the O? Only way for the O face to happen. <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. You can't high-five like that. Do that again. No, that's not how... Yes, thank you. Jesus. Okay, well, okay, I'm gonna look out for that. Actually, it's telekinetic high-fiving. Uh, whatever your name is. I don't know. It's telekinetic, not telepathic. Let's get our facts straight in this nerd chat, okay? 
Yes! Could I just jump to the second one and not even worry about that first one? Hey, Reverse. I was wondering when you'd show up. I don't think I can... well... Yeah, I can. Deal with it. Ugh. Gotta get my timing on. So, uh, this stream shows you what not to do when you first come across uh, challenges before ultimately showing you the solution. That's the difference in the beat to speed you might notice. Is, uh, you know what, I kinda care. I wanna simulate what you're gonna do wrong so you won't do it wrong again. See? I've shown you every wrong possibility. Now get it right, you asshole. And this is more difficult than I remember. Oh, hey, another chance. That's game design I can get behind. Apologize for anybody who's motion sick. No? Again, showing you all the wrong possibilities before getting it right. Just like that. Oh, that could have been cool, but it's like they want to fly, but they just can't do it. Poor oafs. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay. Oof. This one's rough. I had to pop my neck in anticipation. Okay, though, we got this. I want to reassure you all that we do got this. And if we don't got this, then I'll turn the stream off momentarily until we do. Alright, it's concentration. See, we're getting it on our first try now. Still not quite adept at that uh, barrel throwing situation, but we gotta you know, compensate with stomping. Alright, so. It's on its way up. There we go. And now you know. Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. Boom. I'm not falling for that. Mr. B. Well, I hope you all know now. Figgle, did you say something? Did I miss a Figgle comment? Because I cannot pass on a good Figgle comment. So what was that Figgle comment? I'm listening. Taking a stretch break. Playing video games is hard. Oh, Figgle, that's why I depend on you. This game can be pretty K rule. So says Figgle. <coughs> I can't tell the trees from the forest frenzy. Let's go into this next exciting. <laughs> I can jump like you can, Donkey Kong. Now, how does this work? Who is doing that? I think I found the one logistical flaw. What's with these letters? Oh, you can throw th barrels and shit at letters and items, can you not? Is that the secret that I'm forgetting? That was the O bit, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you enjoyed that. Oh, 
I didn't think I'd have to, you know, I'm picking up a K and O and a G. I didn't think I'd have to get B's too. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's good. That's fucking good. Oh, I'll be careful, all right. Person in the chat who I know said that. Because I believe B. <laughs> N. Well, I picked up the N, so I know Paula Dean will be pleased, right? Timely comments, yeah. Alright, anyway, enough of that. Crazy shenanigans here. Oh no! You know, for trying to stop Donkey Kong and his buddy from getting all the bananas back. Nature's taking a pretty laid-back approach to it. Perfect. Gotta be careful. I'm always a little careful, uh, cautious when I only have one dude left. Ooh, excellent, Blaster64. I like that. I'm gonna credit, but whoa, holy shit, Diddy was booking it. Uh, Blaster64 said, why did Donkey Kong go to the dentist? He had teeth decay. I feel like that's a joke that's been said before, but I still like it. Alright, let's go to the temple. Okay. Not so good there. So what's everyone doing with their Sunday evening besides this? Because this isn't going to go on all Sunday evening, folks. I'm going to stop eventually. Does he chase you? Oh, yep. That he does. Does he chase you through the whole... Okay, just each section. That's good to know. It's good to know this level isn't too bullshit, or I would have to rege quit. It's a new term I heard recently. I hear the people on the internet quite like that. When people get mad at games and quit out of them. What a strange concept. Hey, how does he do that? There's a tire, presumably, down there. But, you know what? We ain't gonna get it. I think we're actually in the clear, so who cares? I wonder if he likes the rapper P. Diddy. Ah, that was see all that coming. You know what? Genuine beat us tip. If you die and you feel like you're a little frustrated about it, take a breath. Take a little drink. You know, let it sit for a second before you restart that level. If you go into a level that's semi difficult and you're emotionally compromised, you're not doing yourself any favors, son. Or daughter? I don't know, I have a lot of children, so I'm sure there's a lot of you out there. Wait, let's... I followed the banana directions this time. Ah yes, the most... high-speed, fast-paced action-adventure bonus level ever. Why did I not get that first, uh, banana? I do wonder. And more important than that, where is my next water stage? Because I am feeling like relaxing some more, and I know there are others. Are there not, ladies and gentlemen? Wait, what happened to the two fish that I picked up? Are they just rendered meaningless now? I do declare... Let's see what this is. Ah, the end. The N letter is not as controversial as the N word, I've noticed. Any reason for that? Said the dumbest fucking person in the world. Whoop. Alright. 
Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh, wow. I, uh, planned that one. You could say. Ooh, man, I'm good. Right. Let's go to the Orang Yutan Ganja. I like how they use the same environments. So that very southern environments. And you know, just put some touches on them. Like this uh, lovely jungle time sunset. It kind of reminds me of, like, if you think baby Bowser will appear in the distance and start lugging things at you. Reminds me of that a little bit. Good times, good times. Alright, that was pretty good. Give that an 8 out of 10. Your thoughts? Anybody have any thoughts? All right, what does the ostrich do besides go very quickly? Because he doesn't run things over like the... the, the um, okay. Does he run things down? No, he just clearly does not. This is confusing me! Apparently Cranky had some rather cranky descendants. Am I right, guys? Goodness gracious. I always react to the jumping things by jumping myself, and I think they are getting, uh, they're getting on to that. Uh-oh. I feel a sneeze coming. How do you, um, quick poll streamers, how do you handle when you need to... Anyway, it's gone. We're all good. Oh no. That's how you handle that. Actually, I hear not only you're supposed to pinch your nose, but you're also uh, supposed to press your tongue to the uh, roof of your mouth at the same time. And that supposedly helps. So that might be some alt medicine bullshit. Now let's go to Clam City. Ah. Well, guys, let's uh, go back into relaxing for a little while and uh, chill. Chill? You know, we could get those bananas, but we don't need them. We don't need them that badly. Let's just take it easy. Just go on a kind of relaxing trek through another lovely water stage. Those fish look harmless, but they'll kill the ship if you're not careful. So just avoid them. They're not bothering you, so... Leave them be. They'll be fine. They're not overly aggressive, but you know, just don't get into their shit. And they won't get into your shit. And by that I mean murder you. This is a regular clam city, is it not? Whoops. Oh. Choices to go in, directional choices. Chose left be a shark attack to our left. Just negotiate that pretty easily. We'll be good. If you any if anyone watches the soup in this chat, there was a they showed a clip for something called Sharknado, which was a sci-fi disaster movie about, indeed, tornadoes full of sharks. And sharks would, you know, fly from tornadoes and kill people. Looks like a lovely film. It should show up in the IMDb Top 250 after a while, so if you just pay attention to that, you should uh, you should probably get uh, get a hint of what it's all about. And it is, as uh, Flippin' Fox noted, based on the true story. So we already got the end. The clams are being a little more aggressive, shooting their pearls at you. Reminds me of an embarrassing story when I was playing Mario RPG. I was a little child and could not figure out that Pearls was the password in Johnny's ship, so I had to consult a strategy guide to figure it out. It's my embarrassing gaming story, and we're done! Mm. This is a B-Boss in the 
Banana Archipelago there in the back. Taking a quick slurpy break. If you all have your slurpees, I recommend you uh, take them. <sighs> Checking the tweets real quick on Twitter.com, seeing what's going on with the tweets. How's everybody's tweets doing tonight? Everybody feel good about their tweets? If you'd like to leave a comment about your tweet situation, then go ahead and do so. All right. Nothing too exciting happening on Twitter.com. I don't remember this bee boss very well. I think you have to throw shit at it. Ugh. Remember to do your warm-up stretching before you fight any video game boss. Twist your neck a little bit from side to side. Roll your shoulders. Maybe do a little flex. Do what we call dynamic stretching, where you uh, hold your hands up above your head. And then just kind of, like you're cleaning windows that are really hard to clean with both of your hands. Just kind of expand your chest. It feels really good. I'd recommend it. All right. That's not the right way. Well, that went off to a terrible start. But I think I get the idea behind this boss. I think I'm seeing a pattern here in what you're supposed to do. Or maybe not. Do you have to hit him twice to truly damage him? Ah, he's just briefly invincible. Did he? No. By the way, if you encounter an actual bee, don't do this to it. Probably will not work uh, like you expect it would. I got stung by a yellow jacket the other day. That was not pleasant. I was in a swimming pool and there was a dying yellow jacket in the water. Didn't notice it, swam right by and it stung me near my armpit. And it did not give me a banana when it finally died. I mean, what the fuck, man? Ugh. I'm fine. I'm, uh, thank you for asking Magic 11, but, uh, I'm not allergic. So there's that. It hurt for, it was like sore for about 15 minutes afterwards. Just throbbing pain, like, right around my armpit. I was like, you jerk. Hang on, I gotta read this text. Text came in. Got some beatus texts. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting text. Wouldn't make sense out of context, so. Anyway. Let's move on to the icy tundra. Hey, why don't you get your vulture culture out of my glacier, um, word that rhymes with glacier, okay? Uh, anyone's chat, any words that rhyme with glacier? Appreciate your help on this matter. Oh no! Oh, save. I think that's the first time I've actually rolled in this game. Well, that seemed rather cheap, did it not? Am I the only one? That's a pet peeve of mine when people say, am I the only one who blank? Because you know what? There's seven billion people on the planet. You're not going to be the only one who thought of something. There's no such thing as originality before. Original thought is dead. You're just an ant. You're not a little snowflake like you think you are. Okay. Can, can we just deal with that? Is that hard to accept? Woohoo! Okay. No, you do not exist, whoever asked that question that I saw at the corner of my eye. Look at that barrel. Even that barrel is disagreeing. You know what? You do not exist. So, deal with it. I don't know why that was funny to me, but... <laughs> Diddy, you are a fuck up. I think we need to acknowledge that. 
I do like the design of how they fire you out of cannons and shit. It's quite neat. Quite neat, indeed. Mm. Is there anything back this way? I feel like besides this. Diddy can't actually stomp on them, but no, you can't do anything to them. But there's something down there, is there not? Yes! Oh, this is goofy bonus stage. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I said oh, because I had the opportunity to get. game holds up quite well, though, doesn't it? If I remember, 2 improved on it. 3 was okay, but I don't remember liking it as much. Anybody have any comments on that? Any thoughts? Or prayers or indifferences to note related to that? Oh, that, it all worked out. Uh, I do not, I'm not a fan of these segments. I just have to stare and think. I don't like to stare and think when I play video games. Okay, this bee is not working with me. Everybody be quiet while I do this. Ugh. And we almost just slid off and died after going through all that, so that would have been quite lovely. Well, I'd like to see the racing part of that once the racers actually get to it, because that just does not, that's not fun. Alright. Alright, we got on our first try! And I would like to request that whenever people race that and they get to that section, they whisper. You have to whisper, because it requires concentration. Hope you all enjoyed the whisper segment of Snow Barrel Blast. It does live up to its name. I can't reach it. Okay. Oh, I can reach it. Because I know how to use video games. Is this a burstable thing? Oh, wow, this is a... Uh... Wait, do you get all the letters? Or do you get, like, a life, I guess, for... Ooh. Oh... Donkey Kong, that is the worst day of your life. Has it been this... Wait, can I do it again? No. 
It's been established why Donkey Kong wears a tie. I mean, he's wearing a tie and nothing else. I get that he wants to look good for his job interview, but you gotta kind of think about more than the neckwear, friend. Friend Donkey Kong. But you can't climb up? Apparently you can't. Good to know. Pretty impressive armadillo, but he's no armored armor. Now, how does how does that work? How many uh, chat question? How many worlds in this game? I'm not quite remembering how many. Is that like six, seven, six? Says a psychedelic highball. That's my way of saying hi to you, psych, buddy. Though, to be fair, that is a pretty cool mechanic for a stage like this. I'm a fan of it. Even if it is kind of confusing at first, and it, take, it makes absolutely no sense either, so. So there's that. You know, that is not intimidating. I watched a life hack TED Talk, came out on Netflix, and it says, this is a, oh hey. Yes, a place we can't use it. Uh, oh. A lot of red. Did Armageddon happen? Um, do you have to collect all of these? <laughs> what am I doing? I have no idea, but. This is a pretty cool song. Uh, just collect as many as possible? Alright. What is this? Is this just for lives? Is this a Mario Galaxy kind of thing where bonuses don't really amount to much? Please get me out of this hell! Is what the fish is saying. I mean, he's cannibalizing little golden idols of himself. That has got to feel weird. I'm assuming this is for lives. There's no way I'm going to... Oh, hey, there's a whole lot. There's an entire... Is it even possible to collect all of those in the time? Is that what you're supposed to do? Oh, it's a Battle Toads bonus level kind of thing. Gotcha. Yeah, Donkey Kong, you didn't do that. So don't you try to claim credit for it by pounding your chest or whatever. That is such male power posturing that is just ridiculous. And it took me back here for some reason. Well, that was a dick move, if I ever saw a dick move. And I've seen plenty of dick moves. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna need some uh, an assist from the chat. Left or right. As they say in that game I don't remember the name of. I don't know why I'm posturing this choice, because it's... Alright, I'm gonna take the risky one. Wow, that was really risky. But I got stuff. And I killed the bee that I didn't need to kill. And... Oh. Well, I should have known that would be a problem. Alright. It's alright. We got this. Everybody. What was up here again? Anything cool? Bananas? That's fine. So am I uh, misremembering when I'm saying that I think Donkey Kong Country 2 was a bit better than this one and that 3 was the least good of the three? Is that accurate? an accurate statement? I'm hearing a no, but I'm hearing some good ones. I can't really remember three very well, because all I remember is just play or renting it once. The rest of the stream is just going to be this, so hope that's okay. Wow, that was closer than it should have been. 
Um, I'm following the bananas. If there's anything I learned from Donkey Kong Country, it's that you always follow the bananas. No idea how you get that G. G uh, wait. Wait, he can climb them? <laughs> I hear you, Figgle. Figgle said that the uh, this level Rainex is gym class experience. Yeah, I don't remember being able to climb the rope either. And when they were doing the presidential fitness thing for doing pull-ups, I think all I did, <laughs> I was a real dick about it. I just walked by the bar, uh, the pull-up bar, and just tapped it once and was like, Yep, I'm done. I'm diabetes and fuck your fitness program. But to be fair, fitness is a good thing and you should do it. I endorse fitness. Is there anything to the left? Is it worth leaping to... Oh, hey. I knew my video game instincts would pay off. What does this ostrich do besides... Oh, he floats. He's like Yoshi, sort of. <clears throat> but he can't swing on vines. He can also not post on vine. That's a deal breaker. So he does a little mid-air jump like that. <laughs> Whatever I said is cancelled out by what just happened, I'm sorry. Alright, so let's concentrate here. So this is World 4. I suppose I could feasibly beat off this game in this evening time that we have. With a possible bathroom break coming up on the horizon. Well, I call, I'd like to call shenanigans on what just happened there. I do not endorse what just happened. I think it was shady. I think it was... That was my fault. I'll give you that. Uh, Stairmaster. <clears throat> Stairmaster, get tired of what? Don't know what you're talking about. Take a little break. Might need to uh, run off to the Beatus bathroom shortly and relieve myself. Hope you guys don't have a problem with that. But you know what? It's kind of in my nature. My force of nature. I mean, rules. My, the rules of nature say that I have to pee and uh, chop people's heads off. So bear with me on the... Let's carry this with us, see what we get. But you can't stomp anything while you're holding, or you'll, or you'll uh, not hold it anymore. It's back for life. <laughs> you know what? We're gonna let you. <laughs> Never mind. I forgot he was smart enough to change directions. That wily minx, monk, monkey, rather. He, he's a monkey, he's not a minx. I'm sorry. Oh, are you proud of yourself? I guess I'm gonna have to try to roll into him. Yes. I bet there were some of you watching this who didn't think I could pull that off. Well, you know what? Fuck yourself in yourself. Because I proved you wrong. Let's, uh, chase some croctables. Ooh, is it a croctables? That's an underwater thing, isn't it? Are we gonna have to become chill? Alright, welcome back to the BSB. We are going to uh, another water level. So if you haven't tuned in yet, this is a good time to tune in and kind of get acclimated and just relax a little bit. That's a croctopus we're seeing right there. It's chasing us. If you've ever played the Terra Tubes of Battletoads, you might see some inspiration coming from that, and that's because it is. It's a total ripoff, in fact. In the Terra Tubes of Battletoads, these uh, gears would chase you and make your life miserable and make the level very difficult. And so the designers of this game decided that is a fantastic idea. We're going to do that ourselves. And so they did. And it was good. They had a good time with it. Well, we decided let's make it not quite so bone-crushingly difficult. 
Let's make it more of a chill kind of conflict. And so it was. Now, a pro tip for this stage is not to swim directly into the enemies that may uh, come across your path. It's a good way to not get killed. I've noticed in my experience that playing with DK in these levels, swimming is not quite as graceful or, pardon the phrasing, but uh, fluid as it is with Diddy. Plus, if I'm remembering my Donkey Kong philosophy, Diddy has a slightly smaller hitbox. So it's a little easier to get away with things with him, but not get away with getting bit by a shark necessarily. That will get you in trouble. So don't do that. And remember, Donkey Kong Country, the proest tip you'll ever hear, always follow the bananas. That may sound bananas, but it's true. And if you don't follow that philosophy, you are stupid. I know, you know the rest. Anyway. So these croctopuses, still chasing? They're not adapting at all? You'd think if they really wanted to stop him, they would work out a little bit? Maybe swim at the Y, or Planet Fitness, or any other gym that you can think of. But no, they just roll with it. Because they're rolling, you see. I think the other important thing to note here is how is Donkey Kong, how are Donkey Kong and DK? not screaming in agony right now because the water they are swimming in has to be the coldest possible temperature there is in the Donkey Kong canon. Because keep in mind, this is a glacial world, is not a temperate jungle type climate. Or anything of that sort, it is in fact full of conflict. But that's an important thing to think about and I hope you keep that in mind. Now let's go see some torchlight twobble. That's another mine. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, that's right. This is this motherfucker. Did anyone drop some oil earlier? I mean, this guy's no parrot grass, but he'll do. I su Did I step on him? Don't quite think I did. Okay, pro tip, do not turn around if you, uh, if you value your eyesight. I apologize to anyone watching this who happens to... Eh. Turning around is not wise. What are those things for? What are they doing there? The wheel in the mines keep on... Oh. One second. You're hearing an insulin situation going down right now. So I'm just resolving this insulin situation. Please bear with me while I do that. Sorry about that. But, uh, duty calls, as it were, to my life. What if I just never came back? Stream just stayed on that pause screen the whole time. How long would it take for people to leave, do you think? Well, that level was rather... <laughs> Follow my orders. I can't let you do that, diabetes. Okay, there we go. See, candy saves your game, right? I should probably do that. Only 30%. We're not doing too good. A glacier Ewok village?
Okay, here's a joke I just thought of on the spot. So, <clears throat> anybody who's on something awful will probably get this more than anybody else. But, um, what is the number one tip that Ewoks who are graduating college say to freshmen? Keep your indoor open! All right, uh, let's keep going. So uh, the entire stream has been killed by, uh, by that. Whoa. So you know it's a cold environment because the background is blue. Keep your end door open? No? I'm sorry. So if a uh, question for racing people, if there's people aren't being a uh, if people aren't being eliminated, then how if people aren't being eliminated, then how do races work? Is it just like aggregate score that you're looking at at the end of the day like well, hook, hook a brother up what are we talking about times added up something like that that's what i meant by aggregate score oh, jesus christ okay <laughs> wow. this stream is rapidly falling apart Unfortunately, the more lives we lose, the more lives we'll eventually gain from uh, getting them bananas. So we do have that to look forward to. <laughs> Probably was, psych. Probably was. If you can believe it. The bees are intimidating, but it's not too hard if you actually pay attention. Which I'm not good at doing, so, you know. I can't see what I'm doing. Where, huh? Oh. Lovely. <clears throat> uh, what should I try to get? I'm thinking rhino. I like that rhino. Rhino comes after the ostrich. There we go! Did we get a... oh, just a token. No, Diddy, don't throw your hat in the air. That's not that great. Mm. Don't put me right into conflict situations. I don't deal well with that. Wow, if only bees were capable of movement. Maybe they would be a bit more of a challenge there. All right, after this uh, really naughty rampage, we're going to take a little break, but we're going to see if we can keep going after this. Hey, it's you again. What's the... <laughs> okay. Let's maybe not ask questions right after... Uh... So you take that many leaps of, that I've hurt you in the air after each thing? Is that the idea? Okay. That wasn't so bad. Crumrock Industries, is that the last... No, there's one more after that, because there's the pirate ship after that, if I'm remembering right. Getting to the... Well, this game's shorter than I remember it being. Alright, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take a quick break to uh, empty the beta splatter, and then we'll be right back, so... If anyone new comes in, just tell them, give them the executive summary of what's happened so far, give them the latest, get them up to date, uh, play back a best of footage, because it won't take long, because there won't be any. And uh, then we'll be right back. Hello, we're back. I think, on to the next area. DK's been walking in place for quite some time, but he's not going anywhere. So we're going to go down old Oil Drum Alley. 
This is the last world, isn't it? I feel like this is the last world. And like the la uh, the final world is just where you fight the K rule boss. Because you know factory type laboratory settings that tends to be last level environments for video games, if I'm remembering correctly. And please, if you lost your oil, please claim it, because it's all over the place. It what was that? Oh. It's ruining every thing. Otherwise, I will blow up your oil with TNT like I just did there. Sorry if you hear the background noise. Apparently some uh, neighbors are up to something. Somebody's mowing their grass at a rather odd time. The hey, the tire disappeared. Yes, it all makes sense now. So, um, it's like, where are the races right now, if you're, uh, still in here? Hey, this oil is... it's random oil. No, you can't have that oil. My evil oil. Okay, now that I would have to call shenanigans on again. Because I think... I got that shit. Oh god. Negotiate the evil oil now. Oh. Not negotiate the evil timed oil. <clears throat> so let's try it again from the checkpoint. <laughs> I'm being judged in the background. <laughs> you. <laughs> Ooh, and I know that guy's smart enough to throw barrels in the opposite direction, so... Let's get on it. Okay. Alright, we're gonna put our game faces on here, because shit is getting serious here in Oil Drum Alley. Oil Drum Alley is a very crime-ridden area. Full of evil monkeys and evil oil. So... We're gonna... <laughs> okay. That was a test. Again, as I told you guys on this stream... I like to show you how to do things incorrectly before I show you how to really do it right. So again, going through all the possibilities of ways you can fuck this up and yourself. So you know what, I'm doing you a favor and for that I would expect a quick thank you. Or seven. Just like people think Michael Gibson in Zap Dramatic in Newgrounds comments. Thank you for all the thank you. <laughs> okay. So I'm thinking I need to just keep running and not stop. Maybe a little bit of rolling, if you will, as well. To uh, successfully negotiate this scenario. I don't think I can quite jump far enough to stomp him. I don't feel good about it. So I'm going to be a coward. Because that's what I do. See, I hesitated again. It's always with the hesitation in this game. But you know what? It's okay. I know we're not in a water level. I know I can't put on the chill voice, but... It's gonna be okay, guys. I want you to know that. Because you know what? Streams are built for mistakes. Many mistakes were made during streaming. Babies were conceived when they should not have been during streaming. That is the number one cause of unwanted pregnancy, is internet streaming. Think about it. Or actually don't, because um, I don't have any facts to back that up. Anyway, we're a little bit further than we were before. Well, that seemed avoidable, actually. We gotta time our journey through this evil oil. I don't think I've gotten any letters, so I don't know what my progress is. Okay. So these arrows make me feel good. 
Oh, so pay attention to the pattern of the oil. It goes two and then, or three, and then before it pops off. All I'm saying is that, you know, big oil's evil. This level is all a commentary against Exxon and BP and your Chevrons and your uh, the other gassy industries that are, you know, gassy and exist. I'm just asking you to think, is all. Use your mind and roll with it. It's like Donkey Kong does. Or DK does. He's not actually called Donkey Kong, is he? Because that goes, honor goes to his pappy. So he's just DK? Is that the idea? Feel free to comment. Leave your comments on the nomenclature of Donkey Kong. We always welcome that. Okay, it does a... It lingers at the top before it goes under. That's the idea behind big oil. I knew it. Sorry, I'm doing yard work while I'm also uh, playing Donkey Kong. I like to multitask. You know, have a little bit of fun when you're doing yard work. Find some time to relax. Anyway. Enough big oil, now let's do something even... Let's go on a treadmill! That's gonna be fun. I don't remember this stage at all. I don't remember there being a treadmill in Donkey Kong. Diddy, what are you doing? Let's just get on track here. This makes no sense. I mean, a moving platform, sure. Well, you know, you have a moving platform, and then you want your workers to you know, get a good workout out of it, too, while they use it, even though it doesn't appear to actually move on its own while it's moving, if that makes any sense, which it probably doesn't. I could have phrased that better. More vulture culture to deal with. I thought we were done with that. Yes. This game is just all about monkey favoritism, even if it means the extinction of many other species. I'm sorry, little baby vulture. Whoa. Hey, how do you... Hmm. Oh boy. I know not these things. What are you doing? You... Okay, that's a jerk thing to do. That was a jerk thing to do also. Wasn't very smart. <laughs> Not very smart at all. Alright. This is just chaotic, there's too much happening here. <laughs> wait, <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Alright, let's uh try that trick track trek again. Let's not get killed by the bee. Hmm. Right. Okay. I can't pay attention to the chat right now. There's too much happening. Okay. What was this level called again? Did I get rack trick trick track track trick track track? Is that correct? I need to. Well, I want to switch my dudes, but I can't. I need. DK for his better ability to beat off strong men. <laughs> okay, I guess he didn't decide not to bother. It's all good. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, let's try that one more time. Now that we're DK, maybe we can beat off those big strong men a little bit easier. Destroy the vultures. 
because this game is anti-vulture culture. Yeah, that makes a little, all the alia. Am I correct that this is the last proper world, and then after this is just the uh, K rule boss, or is there a whole another world that we have that we have yet to see? I forget. I forget these things. Okay, they're saying there is a whole other world. Is it a whole new world? You know, that journey was worth it because we got an extra life out of it. Regardless of how many times we died, it was worth it. I'm not a big strong man. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There was a flash of intelligence in his artificial intelligence, but then it went away. We did it! Almost spilled my diet to be the soda. Alright. <laughs> what kind of antics can we get in in this elevator, guys? I feel like I should have tried to get to that rope somehow, but... It's okay. Well, that hardly seemed reasonable. But I'll, I'll say that was my fault. <clears throat> I could have done that better. Hmm. Not quite get to the rope. How many baby vultures have died so that Donkey Kong can get some measly bananas? Any thoughts on that? Any commentary? Jeez. 70. At least. Uh, I'm just drop okay. Well, again, that hardly seemed fair either. That's crummy game design when throws some th huh? Oh, hello. All right, we uh, took advantage of that bonus stage. Got quite a lot of uh, bonus bananas out of it, if I do say so myself. And I do. This is a ripoff of Super Mario 1. I said confidently. <laughs> Poor guy, didn't even know that was coming. Well... I let that be live. I gave him a chance. Alright. Oh no! Oh. I planned that. FYI. Where are these minecarts going, and why are some going in different directions? The answer is KG. B. The KGB. Oops. <laughs> Things are getting harder. And I hope you all are too. No, I don't. Looks like I'm trying to rush a little bit too much through this game, so let's take a step back and relax. Pop my neck a little bit, and then we'll, uh, let's be a little less risky. Let's be a little less risky, but still be a little more brisky, as in go fast and kill a bee. Mm -hmm. 
You know, I feel like me streaming this game is going to give a bit of an unfair advantage to people who are planning on racing this in the future, because they're seeing all of the pro tips and pro tricks that I have to offer. Of which there are, you know, countless. It's like you're watching a TASS. That's how good this shit is. And if you disagree with me, then you're kind of a jerk. Wasn't ready! I don't have the ability to learn from my video games. Well, remember, Dectalon, you've also could have got to put the lime in the coconut. It's a pro tip I heard once. I suggest you do the same thing. I'm getting into that mindset where when I die quite a good deal on one level, I just go through it as fast as possible on the next attempts. In that kind of enough bullshit mindset. But that is a recipe for recklessness and I wouldn't recommend it personally. Unless you've got mega cojones. Which apparently I do. Alright, this is where... Jump! That's right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Yeah, Diddy, what are you doing? Voila! Let's save for good measure. Only 36%. I'm guessing the percent accounts for Kong letters. Is that pretty much the idea? Beat stream. If you just tuned in, we're in a toxic dump. It's not as relaxing of an environment as we might like, but uh, we're dealing. We are wheeling and dealing with it, as it were. Uh, Donkey Kong is swimming through some highly radioactive material that is slowly mutating his monkey DNA into dino DNA. That's a... well, okay. So anyway, this is a... this is actually... If the level is called Poison Pond, but this was filmed on location. This very stage you're seeing is actual footage from the Gulf Coast of Alabama. Made into reality in a video game situation. oil spill left a lot of uh, a lot of problems here in the uh, environment and the ecosystem of Alabama. Pardon the strain in my voice occasionally as I go through conflict, but this is a very emotional experience for me that is uh, is very close to my heart. I expect it's very close to a lot of your hearts as well. If you, uh, I mean, assuming you like southern people, and who couldn't like southern people? If anyone doesn't like southern people, then I don't think we should be talking. I don't think you should be in this stream right now, quite honestly. Because, come on, we're southern people. So one common side effect of being in a uh, radioactive aquatic wasteland is making the same mistakes multiple times in a row and not learning from them. So we're going to follow a tip from a friend of the show, Psychedelic Eyeball, and get a K <clears throat> by looking left from the starting point. Not that that really helps us go through the level itself very much, but... You'll give it a shot. In fact, you can go more left, can you not? And get ten bananas and, you know, 
mess yourself up a little bit. And I'd like to pause and ask for a moment, how are you all doing tonight? What's on everyone's minds? Seen anything entertaining lately? Watched any good television shows? Any good movie film experiences that you've had? Because, you know, we can open this conversation up because this is one of those levels that I think is going to take a while. Take a while in that I feel the urge to blink away from the screen occasionally, and when I do so, it tends to not work to my advantage. But maybe we're having some better luck now. Gotta go through this very steadily, very deliberately. Before we get KO'd. <laughs> because we got the letters K and O, and we don't wanna. Anyway. There's gotta be a midpoint on the horizon, because we got the O, which is the second out of four letters, and there it is. Suddenly, things are a lot more chill in the beat of speed. Now that there's less incentive not to die. Yes. Now that there's more incentive. Wait. Uh, whatever. I think I got it right the first time. And we did indeed die. We're actually getting kind of low on lives. I'm assuming what happens when you run out of lives is that you respawn from wherever Candy last left you. So it's a good thing we visited her recently. It looks like a banana up there, but it is... You know, I should probably pay attention to the screen a little bit more. This game is indeed more... <laughs> Hi, welcome to the Beta Speed. I'm Diabetes. And we're having a. <clears throat> Hi, welcome back to the Beta Speed. I'm Diabetes. And uh, we're back in the Poison Pond section of this world. We're going through it very chill, very deliberately. Taking our time, minimizing mistakes. Minimizing mistakes. Maybe I shouldn't have done this stream in the first place. Uh, a little self-ownage, if I ever heard it. Well, that hardly seemed fair. Can I get your thoughts, chat? Did that seem fair for it to just kind of come out of nowhere? Or should I have known better and uh, been more cautious about that situation? Okay, I'm getting kind of a dick move from the chat, so that's a that's a relief. I like to know that you know I'm not entirely to blame for what's uh and we're wearing we're fucked, quite frankly. So maybe that's a good time to end the stream, what do you think? Or should we keep going? Should we Balls up and proceed. Alright. People are saying keep going. <clears throat> Good thing we visited old Candy. Right. Now I heard somebody say something about a hidden wall, not just the K. So what do we got for us? Oh. I thought that wall seemed a bit suspicious. This is indeed helpful. Provides us some additional insurance. <gasps> you guys said it was fishy. Pro tip, even when you don't activate your fish's nose spear attack, he will do it automatically when he is near 
an adversary. This is indeed helpful. But we're still going to be cautious. We don't want to get all hubris in this stream. Not when there's so much at stake. Sorry, I don't know what happened there. It's okay. We are going to be okay, ladies and gentlemen. I feel like there's something below there, but I don't feel inclined to check it out. I just want to get through this stage at this point because this has been a waking nightmare of a place to play through. And we're only halfway through, barely halfway through. We haven't even gotten the halfway through barrel. But I don't want to betray you guys by becoming unrelaxed as we play through this. Because you know what? The goal of this stream is to have fun and to be merry together. And if you guys are not having fun and being married together, then there's no reason to do this. You're accidentally turning the other cheek to Fish. Speaking of, does anyone like the band Fish? But you know what? Despite how many times I've died in this level, the music just puts you right at ease, does it? <laughs> well, I forgot about that. That was a long con, Fiverr. Okay. We're getting close. There is just a G and then an exit. And then we will be okay. A O. Okay. It's okay, because we got our buddy back. What is harder, Donkey Kong Country Returns or any of the three original Donkey Kong Country games? Which is the hardest, ladies and gentlemen? What do you think? What are your thoughts on the difficulty? Returns was pretty difficult towards the latter half. So we're just going to take a chill swim through this parasitic pond wasteland. This pond scum, if you will. And we got a one-up for our troubles. And that kind of makes it worth it in the end. All this effort, all this conflict we strived against, it kind of makes sense now, doesn't it? We did it. <sighs> Probably a good tip, Volt Catfish. Save again. <clears throat> Only 37% of content uncovered in this game. That means we have 66, 63 more percent to go. I rounded down to a third. We got a minecart level, so this should be a lot of not fun for us. But we're gonna see if we can finish this game to. <laughs> well. <clears throat> Welcome back to the Beatus Beat. This is Diabetes, and we are at a minecart stage in a. Um, factory like environment, I guess? I don't know if, what the uh, specific world is called. Cannot remember. I don't know video games. I've never played them before. Well, that... <laughs> I, hmm. I don't know what happened there, but you know what? I pulled off a pretty cool move earlier on when I got that hidden G. And so I think that'll be the stream highlight. And you know, nothing else in the stream will really matter. And if you think anything else in the stream does matter, then, you know, maybe you're a bad person. I already made a joke about data mining earlier in a previous stage, so I, you know, I don't know what to say about this particular stage. 
I mean, I could say it's a pretty neat stage. It's pretty coal. <clears throat> or I could say that this stream is right on track. S or I could say that this stream is getting off the rails. Or, hey, we got the G already. That's quick. But I don't remember getting a midpoint. Requires a bit more concentration than I accounted for. Follow the bananas. Always follow the goddamn bananas. I would probably would have literally ended my life if that gopher had killed me after all that. Alright, so we got Funky's Flights and a Blackout Basement. So this is level before the boss. Ah, yes, literally a blackout basement. We gotta be very careful and deliberate about how we go about this stage. Yeah, I killed that guy while totally blind. And that guy, but not, not that guy. Sorry. I'm not so sure about game design principles with this stage. It kind of forces you to stop and start. You don't really get to soak in the neat the, the level itself. I don't know. What do you guys think in the chat? Game design perspective. Good? Not so good? The level is kind of, you know, ugly on its own, so not a whole lot to look at, so maybe that works in its favor? I don't know. I feel kind of neutral about this. If the level was pretty short, maybe? I don't know. I think more importantly than this, why are they not paying their power bill? I mean, really? Let's not be too risky here when we hit the jump button twice by mistake. A risky roll that was. A risky jump that was too, but it did not pay off. Fortunately, we got the midpoint, so you know what? We're fine. Maybe, maybe you guys in the chat shouldn't panic so much. Okay. Maybe you relaxed yourselves a little bit. Jesus, you guys are hysterical, and not in the funny way, in the, the panic way. Please, please just relax for a little bit. That's all I ask. Okay, now why don't we switch out for Donkey? Wait, for... Why won't you... There we go. That's the thing in Donkey Kong. I've noticed I always make the same mistakes multiple times. Because I forget that said mistake opportunity is happening and I feel confident about my groove in the level that I just kind of forget about it before it even comes up. Does anybody else have that gaming problem? Let's do gaming problem chat here. Is that a problem for y'all? Fortunately, I got the timing down there. <laughs> of course, Dectalon says no. Dectalon, you're part robot. You don't count. Come on. Alright, we got a problem here. Oh. Now that, I kind of call gaming design shenanigans on. Not quite a fan of that. Don't know what you guys think. Oof, there's a banana down there. Alright. I know my rule is follow the banana. Should I continue that rule here, or should I ignore it and go on? I'm hearing one guy say it's shenanigans, but I'm hearing some no's. Okay, I'm hearing mostly ignore it. I'm gonna trust y'all. 
you all. Oh, come on, not this. <laughs> what? Did I... You know, this factory has a lot of cogs. In it? We did it. Couldn't have done it without you guys. That's a good tip from Vault Catfish. Go ahead and save. Yes, everyone, I hear you. What do you mean? Save the game or save this stream? Because <laughs> it's going so badly. <laughs> okay. Anyway. <clears throat> yes, I saved it. Come. Okay, what is the deal with this boss? And not just in the Seinfeld way, but what is the situation here? Because she got, has to give you an opportunity to actually hit him with perhaps a barrel of some sort. You don't just kill the enemies until they go away, do you? Is that what this is all about? Just kill shit? I'm assuming this is a just survive the level kind of thing. Okay, well that was rather easy. I'm gonna scale down for where, for how far we are in the game. This was the boss they made at 3 a.m. You say? Ah, yes, there's the last level. So one, two, three, four, five, six. This is the sixth, sixth <laughs> level. Sorry, I just got spit all over my desk. Tanked up trouble. We must have to fight some uh, paladins in this stage, cause. <clears throat> Oh, I kind of remember this. This is a neat concept, I think. I like this idea of level design. Kind of. It's not like super duper inspired or anything, but it's neat. I'm down with it. In fact, the treadmill I use at the gym is the same way. In, in that the treadmill I use actually is moving along a, uh, a track that makes me go outside of the gym itself. It happens. But what is not shown is how DK is, uh, you know, taking the fuel and putting it in whatever this thing is. I still haven't quite got clear clarity on. Oh no. Now I think I hit that guy on the head. But apparently the game disagrees with me. Your thoughts, chat? Do you do indeed have any thoughts? I forgot how cool this game was. Is. Was. The game didn't die. I'm not retiring it or anything. This game's great. I should have gotten that tire, probably. Yeah, I should have gotten that tire. I'm about to fuck myself. Well. Alright. Let's, uh stretch. Oof. Sorry for your my joints popping. They do that easily. Because uh, my bones are made of peanut brittle. Fun fact. Yeah. Okay. But I noticed if you do miss that... Uh, Higher. You can probably still get the next fuel thing if you jump ahead a little bit. Or, or you can just do that, alternately. MGS1 is the best aging game of all time? I would 
rather disagree with that. I think the game looks rather shitty nowadays. And of course then you got the whole gameplay of the current MGS games to account for. It just seems kind of um, draconian by more sophisticated standards by what I might declare. Let's hope this is enough. It's not. Ah. You guys keep uh, talking about video games that have aged well because this is going to take a little while. Do I need to go back to candy? Or do I get credit for beating off the uh, last world? Okay, people are saying I get credit. Well, that was good. That went well. Keep talking about those uh, video game arguments, guys, because. Anything to distract y'all from what's happening here? Guys, I have a question. Should, uh... Should I bring other people in for, for this? Because one of the more awkward feelings is when you just, you know, talk to yourself. Extemporaneous speaking and all that. I just want to entertain you guys. Actually, fuck that. I think we're going to be okay. <clears throat> My girlfriend was in here earlier chuckling at things. We've got an extra life for our troubles. Oh my god, the fuel's not giving us fuel! What is this fuel even fuel made out of? Oh, all right. I wasn't paying attention to the chat at all, so when I asked my question, I did not actually see what anybody said. Dactylon, I know I should play Symphony of the Night sometime, but I don't know PlayStation emulators. It just seems like so much effort. I mean, this is so simple, back to the olden days. So you think I should play Symphony of the Night? I say, Rye, no thank you. <laughs> oh no, Rhino! I'm sorry, I didn't mean it! I didn't mean the bad pun! Oh, okay. We'll go without him. Let's... Let's get through this wheeling and dealing that's going on here. Guys, I gotta confess, I gotta take another pee break soon. Streaming video games is hard. Oh, hey. Now this again. And now there's three of them. Like, it's hard to get bananas now. You get at least more than just a one-up if you beat this all. Nope. I can feel the end of this game getting close. Am I wrong? Despite my low, mm, despite my low beat off percentage for this game, and if I get to my last life 
and have not beaten off enough people to get to candy, then maybe I should go back and save? Is that how it works? Or do I need Funky in order to even go back in the first place? Ooh, it only gives you one chance. Alright, people are saying I do need Funky. You know, Donkey Kong, you could not be such a fucking coward. Maybe when I do get into these kind of constant screw up situations, it would be. It would behoove me to call somebody. To get guests. Try to stretch out the entertainment value of the beat us beat. Mr. John Carey, the GF is rather busy. She has things to do. Okay. Again, I cannot help but make the same mistakes multiple times. It's amazing, in fact. It is more important than this. Probably should pay attention to the trajectory of that a little bit better. And poor Diddy, he can't do anything to beat those guys off besides throw barrels at him. <sighs> okay, again, I call semi shenanigans on that. Okay, I hope if I get hit by these things, I don't die in real life. No, I don't. Good to know. Uh, okay. The end is nigh? Near? It is near. We did do it. <clears throat> Though I am kind of worried about the lack of candy or funky access. So I only have two lives to live here. So I'm going to say if I die, I'm going to call an end to the stream for the night. I think that is a good sign to not continue. But if we can, uh, if we can accomplish this, then we'll keep it up to the very end. Anybody afraid of snakes in the chat? If so, my uh, apologies and condolences. And not really looking at the chat, so don't. I'm just pretending to talk to you all, I'm not actually responding or engaging with you in any way. But it seems like most part people are uh, are chill with snakes. What if they are on, say, air transportation? Then do they get more fearful? If they are on your motherfucking air transportation, then does that make them problematic for you? Come on, not even, no extra lives after all that effort. What a bunch of horseshit. I'm gonna regret saying this, but I, this level seems pretty easy comparatively to earlier. And that looks like something that should be able to be broken open. But we cannot do that. Uh, go at a deliberate pace. Hmm, that could have been worse. Level is getting less foggy. It's a sign that we might be at the end. That the stream might be able to go on. That's funky. Candy is right after this level, so 
If I die, I think I have two lives left. If I die once, I can take Funky, go back to save Candy, or I can try to beat off this level and try to get to Candy and save right here. What is this level all about? Can you turn on lights? And how long do the lights last? I see. Everybody, please concentrate with me. This requires the utmost focus. The utmost gumption. We're on the precipice of getting extra life. It's important. It's could. Mm. Go back for safety. Get that midpoint. Get our buddy back. And I think we are doing okay. Are we doing okay? Oh, maybe not. I can't imagine racing this. This has got to be so stressful. I'm not ready for this level of stress, guys. I don't know if I can race beyond beyond world one. Guys, I've never been this stressed out at literally anything in my life. This is the most stress I've ever experienced. That right here, this stream. Oh boy! Oh, I knew that would happen. These lights are very loopy. But if we can keep Diddy at least, then we should be good for the end of this. I just ask that you all concentrate with me. Because I'm... The most important thing of all, I need your support right now. Through this trying time. Your thoughts, your prayers, well wishes, condolences. Whatever the case may be, they're all very imperative right now. Okay, so we got the ability now to withstand a hit. We didn't need to take that hit. Something just dropped. Don't know what it was. Don't care, because I just want it. See, that could have been bad, but we exited. And we can save, and so the stream shall go on. I apologize to those who did not want the stream to go on. So let's see what platform perils. Now, how do you get to that barrel? Impossible. Hmm. So you can kill yourself, and then your other self can pick up an item for you. Okay, again, I'm going to have to stress that after this level, feeling the need to take another Beatus bathroom break. And this level does seem like it's going to be pretty tough. So says Psycho, like, <sighs> Alright, so if I uh, die again, I'm going to take a quick Beatus bathroom break. Well, okay. So it was declared. So um, hang out in this game over screen for a second, talk about video games, I'll be right back.
We're back. Are we back? Are you all back? Do you all have back? It's important. We gotta power through this. We've gotten this far. We've got to finish this. If we don't, then I will feel like a bad person. And I'm not a bad person. I hope. Gotta be a better timed way to get out of that B situation, but I can't be thinking about it right now. I'm just too busy to deal with bees. So Diddy's gotta roll into those motherfuckers. Hmm. Hey, a hidden thing down there. So what are y'all talking about, huh? How in the world do you get to that barrel? Well, that did not seem entirely right to me. That's not where the down arrow platform was, fun fact. Talking about video games. In a video game related stream, that is fucked up. Alright. We're gonna do this the right way. Or take the... Uh, welcome back to the Beat Us Beat, ladies and gentlemen. Playing through video games. Donkey Kong. Country. Figured out how to deal with that B situation, finally. Ah. It's okay. We got our wits about us. We know what we're doing. I fought armored armadillos before I can deal with these regular pussy armadillos. Uh. No, sir, I don't think so. You've just been beatest, sir. This requires so much concentration. Unbelievable how hard I'm thinking about this right now. Are you all with me? Because I need you all with me. I'm very needy. I mean, to stare at screen. This is a terrible game for interacting with a stream chat room. Can't interact with these people at all. That's why I chose it in the first place. Think about it. I do hope I have your undivided attention. Though if the game has your undivided attention, then shit makes less sense. Ooh. Okay, fun fact, you can't uh, stomp on those things, you have to throw barrels at them. Finish this game to we're yeah, we're gonna finish this game tonight or or I'll change my mind that's the uh, the most assertive I get I should have seen that coming welcome to the end game indeed should probably switch to Having Diddy first by default, so that if I do die, then old DK will be the one to take the lead when I respawn. <laughs> right, I do need to take this back to Blockbuster and finish it on time. Right. I think we got this under control. Do you guys think this is under control, this, this particular beat is being... Quite work. 
so just jump or what? <laughs> or just do that. Guys, this is under control. Okay. Okay. I know what you guys like. You like seeing the same thing done over and over again, and you want to see some uh, video game rage, as it were. <clears throat> you want to see me get mad at video games. You want me to cuss out the existence of Donkey Kong Country and call it a terrible piece of shit? Call it too hard, mailed by or whatever? No, 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 that's not gonna happen. Because we are relaxing, and I order you all to relax. I order you to be cool. Can you do that for me? Uh, not sure what I was supposed to do there. Gonna hold on to well, maybe not. Hold on to that. I can hear the crickets chirping outside the window. Makes me feel like you're all really bored. And I wouldn't blame you if you were. Oh, and shouldn't paid attention to uh, to that scenario. That was my fault. Purely my fault. I'm gonna take all the blame for that, and you know what? I will get out. Good game design choice, though, having that enemy be at the beginning of the stage so you know that you cannot squash him yourself. You know that you do indeed have to throw the barrels at him. I appreciate the encouragement, whoever gave me words of encouragement, because we are near the end. As long as Diddy doesn't step on them when they rollin' dirty, riding dirty, rollin' dirty, we be good. Getting to the midpoint is not so much the difficult part. It's what happens after that. So I apologize for all of you who are expecting competent gameplay this evening. Did not think I'd be playing beyond the first world necessarily, but then I thought I should. That's what I did. Hope there is no objections, lady. Because there's one of you watching right now. What I'm confused about is the part that comes up a little bit later. With the whole B and the you carry the barrel with you. Not quite clear on what I was supposed to do there. But I'm willing to listen. I'm willing to learn. I think that says more than other people who play video games on the internet can say. I'm willing to listen. Follow the bananas what the people are saying. So maybe there's some truth in that. Maybe I should follow my own advice. And follow those goddamn bananas. And see where the bananas take me. Um. So. Am I fucked right now? Any, uh, is there any getting out of this? No. Okay. At least now I know what to do with that particular barrel situation. As I hope you all know what to do, uh, as I said before, this stream teaches you the incorrect way to do things before teaching you the correct way to do things. I've showed you a variety of ways to fuck up, some of them more than once. And it's all for your benefit. 
I want you to be masters at this game, and how am I going to teach you if you don't see how to do it wrong? You tell me. You answer that rhetorical question for me. Because the answer is there is no answer. Because it's the only way you'll learn. Alright. So sit back and get in on the ride. was almost bad. Alright, we're following the bananas. This is the advice. Ugh. Gotta say, this level is indeed full of platform perils. But we are learning by doing. That is the important thing. We were so close. I felt like I was, uh, was on the precipice of a great insight, and by that I mean finishing the level. But we can do this. That's the thing with video games. When you're presented with a great adversity, you gotta keep a cool head. To stay ahead. Okay? You all with me? Because I expect nothing less. I'm feeling a lot of encouragement in the chat, a lot of people saying, yeah, we want you to do it, we want you to succeed, I hear you, I'm aiming for it, I'm doing this for you. And I am feeling it, guys and gals, I am feeling good about our chances right now. Tell me how you're feeling. All right. So let's save one more time for good measure. Hope you guys are feeling good. I hope you don't regret spending your Sunday evening doing this. Now let's see what we got next. Oh, it's this thing again. But how is it different? It spits out nuts with greater frequency. You have to hit it twice, apparently. Again, this game shoves, I mean, literally shoves vulture culture right down your gullet. Is anyone else in this chat getting tired of all this vulture culture? I mean, this is classic vulture propaganda. And I must say, this boss is quite a bit harder than the last iteration of it. And th that was my fault. That was my bad. I'm gonna take the blame for that and not blame it on the game itself, because I am an adult. And I know when I done fucked up video games. So, you know, thumbs up to people who know when to admit that they fuck up the video games. Because I think it's what helps us learn. I haven't got your number, you little necky. Okay, maybe not. Now we do. <clears throat> Hooray! Hooray, we're playing video games, guys! So is this... Oh, this is the last box. Did he beat off K. Rool? I forget exactly. You step on him when he throws his crown at you. You don't let him charge at you. <clears throat> There's multiple stages, if I remember correctly. He likes to throw cannonballs at you. Leap over his head. <clears throat> yeah, that's a hell of a crown. I was like, should I save? Or no, no, people said it knows when you beat off worlds. So basically, be prepared is what I'm hearing. You know, why did K. Rule steal all those bananas? He's like a, an allig a tubby alligator, right? So, what does he need bananas for? I don't know. 
I don't get it myself. Has anyone here eaten a banana today? Because you should. They're a, they're a fruit. They're a good source of potassium. What's going on right now? K rule, more like K drool. Can I get a heli over that? Whoa, okay. <laughs> Didn't see that ladder part guy. Okay, then it comes back the other way. And you know, obviously, you jump right into the cannonball. Because, you know, what I want you guys to know is that you don't want to jump directly into those cannonball mode. Oh shit, I do have to... You people lied to me! Of course, I don't think there's actually anything I can do about that. Because I need Funk Funker to, uh... To get back. You guys betrayed me. I was counting on you. I'm going to go off topic and say that I watched a series this weekend called The Fall on the BBC. And uh, if you like murder mysteries, very uh, British, very deliberately pa uh, paced thrillers, dramas, I would recommend it. It's quite good. The Fall, starring the X-Files' own Gillian Anderson. Or Jillian, whichever the name pronunciation is. I don't know what it is. But, you know, watch it. Give it a chance. I think you might like it. Ah, uh, yes. Jillian as in Jillian Seed. Or Gillian. Wait, what am I saying? Gillian as in Gillian Seed. He's not having an adorable robot buddy in the show. But if you have Netflix.com, then I'll um, you know, recommend you stream that shit. It's only five episodes. It's easy to get into. Okay, we can go back and save. So let's. Also been watching The West Wing recently. 156 episodes? Uh, yeah, I think so. How do I get out of here? Funk here? Alright, now you guys can enjoy K. Rule's theme again. Is it ever... Well, that was a fuck up on my part. Is it ever established why K. Rule likes those bananas so much? Does he need potassium to survive? My reflexes are slowing down. difficult when I'm trying to engage in social media conversation while at the same time trying to play a game. How do these, these these people do it? They're highly qualified in their careers, obviously. Goodness gracious. And what is in his crown that it flies the way it is when he throws? Come twice, I think. Maybe. Forget. I'm already not remembering. Yes, they do. Okay. Please give me your support right now. This should be an incredibly simple thing to do, but, you know, I'm an incredibly simple minded person, so. It's not as easy as you might think. 
please be respawned. Ooh. Okay, I was not expecting the double go around there. Please, everyone, give me your spirit energy. Hold your hands up in the air like you just don't care. And give me your life force. Because, quite frankly, I need it. I'm dependent on it right now. I don't care if it makes you tired, and I need your life force. Wasn't prepared for the last go around there. So now I gotta do these cannons. Again, totally my fault. But not only am I showing you the wrong ways to do things before they're right, but I'm also just trying to spend more time with you guys. And is that so wrong? I don't think that's wrong. Thank you guys, it is very sweet. Alright, we've made a new stride. We've gotten to the cannonball section with two lives, which we've not done before. So, let's make the most out of this opportunity. Is this all there is to K. Rule? Because I don't remember him doing much else after this. Step on him and he's dead. I show you how to do it wrong, then I do it flawlessly. Um, you're welcome. As a southern native, I'm uncomfortable with all the K's. These credits. But I don't think these credits are real. Oh dear, he's back. I wasn't ready for that one bit. Well. Okay, so when I said flawlessly, I may have been you know, making shit up. So any, uh, any tips when he jumps? Anything to keep in mind or do besides, you know, dodge? Don't get hit, it's a good tip. I'm learning by playing, guys. I haven't played this game in quite some time. Probably since I was a baby betus. <clears throat> At least we got the pattern down. Gotta hit him twice. Roll through after one can hit the ground. Is that doable? Or is that a bad idea? Skip the credits this time. Okay, apparently I do. Mm -hmm. 
throw your crown, you asshole. Pro tip, rolling is good. Alright. Now let's watch the fake fake credits and find them a third time. Find everything, you old bastard. Don't give a shit. I was playing this game for time on for online internet situation. It's Donkey Kong's gonna be not happy when he finds out that bananas go bad after a while. He's not gonna be able to eat through all those. Could make banana pudding with all of them though. And Donkey Kong's house is being invaded by a bunch of people. And he's got a picture of... Isn't Candy his cousin? Why does he have a picture of her on the wall? It's kind of weird. He's got his cousin, and then he's got just a cartoon sailboat on there. Wait, Candy's his girlfriend? I thought it was, like, all in the family. Or was Candy married to Funke? And, like, Funky is his brother? I, I don't know. Wait a minute, Ch Chomps, how are you doing that? Makes no sense. These water-based enemies can't be like this. What is underneath the sailboat painting? Is those, are those spare ties? Are they flippers? Are they surfboards? They look kind of like surfboards to me. Where are all these guys going? Giant socks, people are saying. Okay. Well, I guess if you have a tie, you might as well own a pair of socks. What's next to the socks? Just a, is that the Constitution? Just a note? Boxers, maybe? Newspaper, you know? Rambi gets shot in the end. Sorry, guys. Spoilers. Squawks, you were good for one level. Thank you. I want that wheelchair. Rocket-powered rocking chair. We're not animated enough! Uh... Oh, thank you. I should be bowing right now, Donkey Kong. Mm -hmm. Diddy, you dick. Oh my god. Should we call the police now? <clears throat> I don't like where this is going. This is uncomfortable. Okay, they made up. It's fine. can't beat this game in less than an hour, can you? Is it indeed possible? Oh, you can, apparently. I ain't beating this game in an hour. I'm never playing this game again. For another, like, couple of years or so. But it did get me hyped up for the next DKC game. The next DKC Returns game. DKC colon RTF. 
I think this is the uh, full name. Well, hope you guys had a good time. Hope you guys feel empowered to beat off Donkey Kong in the future. And more, most importantly, I hope you all learn something about friendship, about Donkey Kong, and about yourselves. Because a stream like this is a rare opportunity. So that is that. So thank you all for watching. Have yourself a good night. And we'll see you next time, whenever that may be.